Hey guys, it's Britt Garrison. Today's tutorial is going to be a Kim Kardashian Vogue inspired look. I'll be demonstrating on my friend Clinique. When I seen this look, I just fell in love with the cover and I really wanted to recreate it for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. Start off this look by applying an eyeshadow base all over your eyelids. Since I've already applied a light layer of foundation to Clinique's face, I'm starting with the highlighter underneath her eyes, down the center of her nose and forehead, on her chin, and on her cupid's bow just to add a little brightness to her face. This is also going to help with contouring which we'll get to later. Using a damp sponge, press the product into your skin. You'll want to make sure that the surface is as smooth as possible and that it lays flat on your skin so that it looks very natural. Apply a light nude eyeshadow all over your eyelids. This is going to help all of the colors blend in together and it's also going to act as the highlight underneath the brow bone. The next eyeshadow we're going to use is a medium matte brown eyeshadow. Apply this color to your eye crease to help all of the eyeshadows that we're going to apply later on blend a little bit easier together. Concentrate a darker brown to the outer corners of your eye to help elongate the shapes of your eyes as well as add a little bit depth to the outer corners. Once you have the level of intensity that you like, start working that same brown all over your moving eyelids. Repeat the same step for your other eye and make sure that they match. The last eyeshadow that we're going to apply to the upper eyelids is a darker matte brown to the outer corners. This is also going to help add a little bit of depth and intensity to the eyelids. So if you notice, we're kind of skipping the center portion of the eyelids on purpose because later on we're going to apply a light kind of champagne beige color to the center of the eyelids for a little bit more dimension. So once you've applied the matte dark brown to the outer portions of your eyelids, Go ahead and go in with a clean brush just to kind of soften the edges of the eye because if you notice that Kim's eye, it's, it's a very, very soft, smoky eye. So you want to make sure that none of the edges are too harsh because that will kind of give the look a different feel than what she was going for for that shoot. Using your finger, lightly apply the champagne color to the center of the eyelid. Using one of your blending brushes, go in and soften up the edges of the champagne color that we just applied to the eyelids to make sure that it's a smooth transition in between all of the eyeshadows you applied on your eyelids. The next step is to apply a black eyeliner to the upper waterline of your eyelids. So now to the lower lids. The first shadow we're going to apply is Swiss Chocolate and you just want to take a small brush and apply it to your lower eyelids. The next step is to apply a black eyeliner to your water lines as well as your lash line of your lower lids. Then go in with a brush and a matte black eyeshadow and just smudge out that lower line. Okay, so this is where you can really make or break the look. Because Kim's look is, is very clean but it's still like a sexy sophisticated smoky eye you want to make sure that you don't bring the black down too far and you kind of don't want to get too messy with it either so just take your time and slowly smudge out that lower lid oh and I almost forgot to mention you want to make sure that when you're doing the outer corners with the eyeliner that you kind of elongate the the edges to kind of give your eyes a little bit more of that cat eye shape but not too defined Thank you. 
what I'm doing here is applying Swiss chocolate right underneath the eyeshadow and the eyeliner that we just applied. The next step is to apply your false eyelashes and your mascara to the upper and lower eyelids. To sculpt the face, apply a bronzer to the outer portions of your face as well as underneath your cheekbones. Lightly apply a rose color blush to the apples of your cheeks and lightly sweep it back into the hairline. Without taking any more product on your brush, just lightly dust it all over your face just to kind of make sure that we have a real monochromatic type of look on the face for a natural glow. All right, so we're almost done. The next step is to apply a highlighter to your cheekbones for a little extra dimension. Then the last few steps is to apply your lipstick, lip gloss, and set underneath your eyes with a translucent powder. So this is the final look. It's my Kim Kardashian Vogue cover inspired look. I really hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think down below. I'll see you guys next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern.